Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. That would be great. Welcome to part two of my short series on capacitors. And today we're going to be talking about the best way at least in my opinion, to audition different types of capacitor. And also, do different types of capacitor of the same value sound different in a guitar? So today I've got my homemade Esquire, and this is wired using the Eldred wiring mod. So the forward position here is a fixed tone capacitor. So what I've done, and this looks a bit daft, but bear with me, is I've soldered in two wires with crocodile clips on the end of it. And this is the way that I found is the best for auditioning capacitors because it's very, very easy to switch between them without resoldering everything. So today what I'm going to do is just do a cycle of different capacitors, all of the same value, and see whether there's any differences between them. Because in theory there shouldn't be. An engineer would say that a capacitor is a capacitor. But when it comes to audio applications, is there a difference between them? Some capacitors can cost 60 quid nowadays, others are about 6p. So today I'm just going to run through them and I should say that I don't really stick to the stock values for Esquire capacitors. In the fixed tone position here I have a 4.7 nanofarad capacitor and the one I choose to run in here is one of the old Sprague aircraft spare capacitors from the mid 50s. I really like that capacitor, it's probably my favourite capacitor I've ever played with. But today let's challenge that, let's see if any other capacitors that might be cheaper than that can sound the same if not better in this guitar. So I'm going to do some clean sounds and a bit of gain just to see what differences are between all these capacitors. So let's go. What do you guys think? I'll be honest, I'm really surprised just how little difference there is between all of those capacitors. I didn't necessarily think that the Sprague was going to sound best, something in my mind still tells me that it does, 90% of that is probably in my head, but to me there is something about that capacitor that I really like. But even the very very cheap ceramic capacitors sound all but identical to those old paper and oil ones. So let me know what you think, did this surprise you? I love reading your comments and talking nerdy guitar stuff with you guys. And yeah, please do let me know any ideas for future videos in this capacitor series. I've got a few more planned out, but um, suggestions are always very welcome. So I hope that's been interesting guys. Please do hit the subscribe icon if you haven't done so yet, because that really does help. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>